right, Rich Ortiz here with the Fighter's Voice, voiceography at its finest. Every fighter and promoter has a voice, and so does Mr. Rick Merriam, Fresno, California, July 7th, Save Mar Center, ESPN, the super lightweight champion of the world, the Avenal Kid, need I say more. How are you putting this together? How much sleep have you got in the last couple days? It's been like every other fight right now. You know, I'm not sleeping much. Saturday night's a big day, and uh, that's what it's all about. You know, Rick, you put together the who's who is promotions from uh, using your loan to make a party, from Beyonce, Lopez, the list goes on and on. But this had to be just a little special, bringing the super lightweight champion of the world, the Avanal kid, something that you helped nourish from day one to the Saymar Center and expected to be another sellout. Yeah, it's absolutely special. There's nothing like a prize fight. I put on concerts, like you said, with Beyonce, comedy shows with George Lopez at arenas. I've done events for the Kardashian family. There is nothing like a packed prize fight, the energy and everything else that goes with it. So for me to be able to, to put one of those on and fill an arena is, 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 is special to me, but, but to have Jose be what it's all about and put eight years into him, uh, there, there's no words to describe it. You know, and I don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but you know what? Everybody wants a piece of Jose. I'm talking about the top-notch names, the Broners, the, the Pacquiao, Pac-Man, the Danny Garcias. When can we see this take place? Is that in the horizon or 2019? I mean, to be honest, it already happened. Uh, Jose was set to fight Tim Bradley. Uh, we had agreed to a contract, and then you know, Bradley had retired, and he's a friend of ours. Um, and then next, we were offered Manny Pacquiao. Uh, we agreed to the Pacquiao fight, and Pacquiao turned Jose down at the, the last second. So those, those fights you're talking about have, have presented themselves. So um, of course the future is bright, but we've had big names, and Jose has stepped up to the plate to fight them already. So uh, I do think Broner is a, is a big fight in the you know, near future, next couple fights potentially. But you know, there's, there's guys like Alex Saucedo that won a piece of Jose and Regis Progras, as you know. Um, you know, those guys could end up, you know, getting a shot if the deal's right. So there's no lack of fights for Ramirez at this point. Rick, I know um, networks cross, but when can we see you once again back on the Fighters Voice radio show? You know, probably a couple weeks after the fight. I mean, hopefully, you know, God willing, Saturday goes good. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to disappear for a few days. Not much longer, but a few days. Hey, you heard it from the man himself, the promoter itself, 559 on the map, on the globe, Fresno, California. It's a, it's a wrap. Thumbs up for Richie. I'm Rick Marigian with the Fighter's Voice.